Chicago building. $60, $65 to fill up this car right now. Take about 28 gallons. <laughs> New pressure on lawmakers to kill gas taxes once again this summer. And Americans celebrate and take time to reflect on Memorial Day. All the day's news plus weather and traffic. ABC 7 News this morning starts now. This is ABC 7 News, Chicago's number one news. With Jose Sanders, Judy Sue, weather with Tracy Butler, and Roz Varon's traffic. This is ABC 7 News This Morning. Good morning to you. It is Memorial Day, Monday, May 28th. The time right now, 457. The temperature outside, 63 degrees. If you happen to have a three-day weekend, lucky you if you're... <laughs> Getting ready for work this morning, join the club. I feel sorry for them. Yeah, there are not many of us getting ready for work. And uh, welcome. I'm Dick Johnson sitting in for Jose Sanders. And we begin, as always, with a weather update, this time, though, from Phil Schwartz. He is sitting in for Tracy all this week. He joins us now from the Weather Center to tell us how Memorial Day is shaping up. Good morning. Good morning, Judy. Good morning, Dick. Yeah, today will definitely be the nicest of the three-day weekend. High temperatures about 10 degrees warmer than yesterday. We still can't rule out an isolated shower, but for the most part, today will be dry. We did have a few showers around yesterday evening, but you can see the bulk of the activity has shifted well to the east out of the picture, and we should get to see uh, generally dry conditions for at least the next two or three days. Right now, 53 degrees at O'Hare, 57 at the lakefront, going for highs today up around 70 degrees. Ross? Well, obviously enough people have the day off that we really shouldn't have a rush hour. It's very quiet right now. All the overnight construction work suspended for the long holiday weekend. We did have a couple of crashes during the overnight hours that have been cleared up. There was one outbound on the Dan Ryan just past 95th. Had a pretty serious crash in northwest Indiana, eastbound on 8094, just past Burr, about halfway between Burr and Grant Street. But I checked with Indiana State Police, and that has been cleared away, so all lanes are now open. And it is a parking meter holiday. You do not have to feed the meters today. So if you do have to drive downtown, I hear little cheers in the studio. At least you won't have to bring with any quarters. We'll have some travel times for you. More traffic details coming up in 10 minutes. Judy, Dick? Ross, thank you. Topping our news this morning, firefighters make several rescues in a fire on the city's far south side. It broke out overnight in a building in the 7600 block of South Kingston. Many of the residents of the Brick Courtyard apartment building were asleep when the fire started. Some of the victims were injured when they jumped out of the building as it was burning. It's not clear what sparked the flames, but investigators say it appears suspicious. ABC 7's Judy Garcia will have more in a live report coming up in the next half hour. Flames also broke out at a near Westside Transient Hotel overnight. The smoky fire trapped several residents on the upper floors of the Viceroy Motel. Firefighters ran inside the building to bring the victims to safety. They were able to stop the flames from spreading and no one was seriously hurt. Investigators say careless smoking may have sparked that fire which started in a garbage can. A man is killed after being dragged by a car on the city's south side. A 44-year-old man was found dead near 116th and Halstead streets overnight. Police are investigating his death as a homicide. They say the victim jumped on top of a car and ended up being dragged several blocks. Police believe the driver and victim, a cigarette vendor, had been arguing over Monday. Money. They are looking for the driver. An explosive accident just across the Wisconsin border kills three teenagers. It happened in the town of Salem, that's just north of Antioch, Illinois. Kenosha County, Wisconsin authorities say it's the most horrific crash they've ever seen. A speeding car split in two when it slammed into a tree. Investigators say alcohol may have been a factor. They have not released the victims' names, although they say they believe they are from Illinois. There is a new call for relief from skyrocketing gas prices at the pumps. Anyone traveling this holiday weekend knows it takes a lot of money to gas up nowadays. Last year, when prices at the pump went up, the state temporarily suspended the sales tax on fuel. Former state treasurer Pat Quinn is now calling on the state, county, and city to lift sales taxes once again on gas for the summer. Besides the federal and state motor fuel tax, the Chicago driver also pays a 5% state sales tax, a 1% city tax, and a 3 quarter cent Cook County sales tax. $60, $65 to fill up this car right now. Take about 28 gallons. <laughs> if you add it all up on a typical gallon paid, the average taxpayer who's pumping a gallon into their car is paying another 15 cents or so in sales taxes. Well, let's stop that. 
Well, this morning, Governor Ryan's office says there is almost no chance of a repeat performance this year because the state needs the revenue. Dick? The spiritual leader of a branch of Buddhism with more than 10 million people worldwide visited Chicago yesterday. Goman Shu Koshin Otani is head of Japan's Jodo Shin Shu branch of Buddhism. He led a ceremony at the Midwest Buddhist Temple in Old Town. 50 followers reaffirmed their faith in Buddhism. The Japanese-American family who founded the temple follows Otani's teachings. Some people call him the Pope or the Dalai Lama, as um, Reverend Oguri has mentioned. But to me, I mean, he's just uh, a symbol. He's a man. He's uh, the 24th uh, generation of Shinran Shonin, who is the founder of our sect. Last night, Otani's message to his followers was compassion for fellow human beings. The religious duo known as the God Squad was also in Chicago yesterday. Roman Catholic Monsignor Tom Hartman and Rabbi Mark Gelman are known for their radio and TV work yesterday. They were raised up literally by Hindu Sri Chamoy, who's nearing 70. He lifted both men over his head. Rabbi Gelman and Monsignor Hartman weigh a total of 531 pounds. Sri Chamoy says his spirituality gives him the strength to lead an active life. He has many, many important things to accomplish in life. If you think of age, how old we are, then we are doomed to be disappointed. The event yesterday was designed to promote peace by uniting people of different faiths. The nation's Memorial Day celebration began with the annual holiday concert in Washington, D.C. last night. Instantly patriotic now, the music commemorated the 60th anniversary of Pearl Harbor and the 10th anniversary of Desert Storm. It was broadcast from the West Lawn of the U.S. Capitol. John Latko from Hammond, Indiana, was one of four veterans featured on the program. He was a Marine private on that day nearly 60 years ago when the American fleet was attacked. Latko managed to save a fellow sailor from the USS West Virginia. And here in Chicago, fireworks kicked off the holiday, finally. The show was supposed to be held Saturday, but rain delayed it until last night. The show in the sky marked the first of many big fireworks displays scheduled throughout the summer on the lakefront. But that's what it looked like. Yes. We didn't get to stay yeah. up long <laughs> enough to watch it. Did you hear any booms or anything? No, I slept right through it. So that, was good. Good. that was good. So right now for you, 504. Of course, a movie honoring American soldiers hit theaters this weekend. We will not give up. We will find out how Pearl Harbor did at the box office. And President George W. Bush says your check will be in the mail soon. Reaction to his tax cut coming up. And things are definitely looking up weather-wise. I'll have your forecast coming up after the break. I'm Al Pamani, and this weekend for Memorial Day, we're having a sneak preview of the all-new Al Pamani Ford facility. So come on in and bring the family. And during this weekend, we'll give you special pricing on all of our cars. For an example, you can get a 2000 Contour for only $89.95, fully equipped, or $149 a month. Or how about special financing for 0 0.9 on most of our vehicles? And as a thank you for stopping in, we'll give you a cooler full of Coke at no charge at Alphamonte Ford and Mellows Park, 25th and North Avenue. FIM is your outdoor decorator. Assorted styles of Cebu Indoor Outdoor Loom Wicker. The Bravo Ensemble. Giordano Dining or Seating Grouping. Summer Wind Vinyl Wicker Collection. All Cebu Loom Features. Aluminum Frame. Ultra Flex Seating. Tightly Spun Wicker Strands. Premium Finishes in White Green Champagne Expression or Walnut Strands. With Premium Fashion Cushion. Variety of accessory pieces including sofas, love seats, lounge chairs, rockers or swings. Choose the style of your table. Rounds or ovals. Save an extra 10% off sale prices. Cebu Wicker is in stock for immediate delivery. Plus free delivery and free setup. Incredible selection. Great value at FIM Store. In Chicago at Fort City. Also Downers Grove, Bloomingdale and Arlington Heights. You know why I started taking Metro every day? How many reasons do you want? Start with the price of gasoline, and maintenance, the cost of car insurance, and the way parking rates keep going up. I don't get it. The train gets you there on time. And it's far less expensive than driving. But how come these people are still in their cars? If Metro's an option for you, now's the time to learn to fly.
You can't find better furniture. You can't find better prices. But Memorial Day Monday at Bay Furniture, you can find a better deal. Because today only, from 10 to 5, you can buy all the furniture you want. And pay nothing for 15 months. No deposit. No interest. No monthly payments. Nothing for 15 months. Today only at Bay. Better furniture. Better value. Better hurry. Because today, Memorial Day, is your last chance to buy all the furniture you want and pay nothing for 15 months. Free delivery, too. Today is the final day. You'll always buy better at Bay. Oh, there's a change in the weather, there's a change in the sea. So from now on there'll be a change in me. My walk will be different, my talk in my name. Nothing about me's gonna be the same. I'm gonna change my way of living, if that ain't enough. Then I'll change the way that I strut my stuff. Cause nobody wants you when you're old and gray. There'll be some changes made. It is 5.07 as we look live from the Sears Tower south as the city wakes up and it's time for weather and traffic on the sevens this Memorial Day. And I suspect that uh, we should start with weather, don't you think, Judy? Because weather needs to be better. To yes, it day. has to be. Yeah, and, and so, it will be better. It's oh. Just, Hasn't yeah. it been a rough week? Oh. It's just been, gloomy. Yeah, yeah, it's been terrible around here. The worst was Saturday. Yesterday, you know, not great, but no. uh, certainly better than Saturday. And today you'll definitely notice an improvement especially as we get into the midday period. So this is what you can expect for your Memorial Day. We do have some patchy fog out there, mainly in the outlying areas, but we're going to see more sunshine, definitely warmer than yesterday. We still cannot rule out an isolated shower today, but for the most part, it will be warmer and it will be dry. So overall, pretty good Memorial Day forecast on tap. There's that same upper level low. It's been sitting over us for the last couple of days but now it has shifted a little bit farther to the east. As we fly underneath the clouds, you can see the rain showers over toward Michigan, but around here it is dry, and that's the way it should stay for the most part today. Again, still slightly unstable, but not nearly as unstable as yesterday, so any showers will be hit and miss. More miss, though, than hit. So that will be a nice change, and we should stay dry for the next several days. 53 degrees at O'Hare, 53 now at Midway, 57 downtown, 52 in Munster, Light winds northwest at 5. There will be a bit of a lake breeze developing during the day today. High temperature officially at O'Hare, though, expected to get back up to 71. Low temperature this morning, 52. Normal high is still 74. Overall, the next several days, we will average slightly below normal. Heavy showers and storms moved out of Oklahoma. These actually produced tornadoes up in Kansas. Now they're all the way down into Louisiana and East Texas. Very heavy showers and storms. You can see how things have settled down around here. And... Uh, I really don't see any major storms for the next couple of days. Next chance of any significant rains won't come until Thursday. There goes that low, moving off to the northeast. But watch what happens during the day tomorrow. A cold front starts to approach the area. That will give us a pretty strong lake breeze, especially tomorrow afternoon. So even though temperatures tomorrow will only be a few degrees cooler, it will feel, especially along the lakefront, significantly cooler tomorrow. Showers and storms, though, will be well off to our southwest. Forecast for this morning, some fog early, then partial clearing. High temperature today, lakefront about 68 to about 72 inland with partly cloudy skies and nothing more than an isolated shower. Tonight, still on the cool side, low temperature getting down to about 46 degrees. Then for the day tomorrow, breezy, cooler, especially lakefront, high temperature 68. Generally, highs this week will be close to 70. Next chance of rain comes about Thursday. So overall, today, by far, the best of the three days. But, you know, that's not saying a whole heck Relatively of a speaking, yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> how good could it be? But it, it, it will be nice. Good. I like how you put it. More miss than hits. Yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> how it will be. All right. Thanks, Phil. Sure. Well, now we're going to check traffic for you on this Memorial Day and see if there anybody out there on the roadway. Hey, Ross. <laughs> uh, there's a few cars here and there, but not too much. Nothing that you really need to worry about out there. It's a... Uh, a definite good morning to be out on the roads if you do have to come to work today. Now, it is a parking meter holiday, so you don't have to feed the meters. CPA, Pace, Metro all running on their holiday schedule today. And as far as the expressways go, very calm conditions. We did have a couple of earlier incidents. There's a car off in the ditch outbound on I-57 at 99th, just past the Rhine. And we had a, a minor fender bender on the Ontario feeder ramp going to the outbound Kennedy, but that has been cleared up as well. Let's take a look at the travel times. They are way low this morning, and that's the way we like it. 19 in and 22 out for the Kennedy Expressway between O'Hare and downtown. 
Nobody on the Edens. It's 18 minutes inbound from Deerfield and 20 back out. Well, that's okay. Hey, everybody should be staying home. The inbound and outbound side of the Eisenhower, 16 minutes from Mannheim to the Circle. Inbound Stevenson, 17 minutes from the Tri-State, 21 back out. And the Ryan also very calm and quiet, 15 in. 12 out between 95th and downtown. And of course, there is a, a bit of a break for the overnight construction work mm -hmm. and midday work. There won't be any additional closures until tomorrow. So that's good news, too. If you're going to be out and around, watch for the police. Otherwise, you're in good shape. <laughs> that's true. Watch for the police. 5.11, our time right now. Here's something to think about as you jump into the car this morning. Scientists say they've come up with a tool to stop nearly all of the pollution coming from your car. We'll have that story coming up. But first, hundreds of firefighters battle flames creeping across northern Florida. And also at 5.30, grilling experts are cooking up ribs and a lot more. They're live with the newest secrets for a perfect cookout. Stay with us. We're here at Soldier Field for the Toro ABC7 Lawnmower Challenge, where you could win a Toro self-propelling lawnmower. Guess how many hours, minutes, and seconds it took this mower to cut historic Soldier Field, 227 by 412 feet. And you could win this Toro lawnmower. Send a postcard with your name, address, and daytime phone number and your best guess to Toro ABC7 Lawnmower Sweepstakes, Post Office Box 643077, Chicago 60664. Toro Lawnmowers, when you want it done right and on time. Is there a difference between a couch and a sofa? Wix Furniture has this incredible selection. Whatever you're into. I mean, is a sofa more educated than a couch? It's Wix Furniture's big Memorial Day weekend store-wide sale. Huge savings absolutely everywhere. Plus, put no money down with no monthly payments and no finance charges due for 15 months with a Wix charge. That's 15 months. Does the sofa really look at the couch and go, I'm better than you. I'm a sofa. I'm more European. It's ancestors near the grid of the sand at Daytona, where a mile measured the length of your nerve. It is not meek. It is not humble. It is what happens when you take the soul of the past and meld it with the best of the new. Chrysler 300M, the most powerful car in its class. It's 514 now, 53 degrees outside, looking like a nice day. And the Treasury Department is getting ready to deliver millions of dollars back to taxpayers thanks to the recently passed $1.35 trillion tax cut. The Senate passed the bill yesterday. President, that's, uh, would be over the weekend. President Bush will sign it June 1st. Democrats and Republicans voted together to hand President Bush a big legislative victory. We did, as moderates, both Republicans and Democrats, were to produce a bill that is much, much better than it would have been. And I was pleased that the president uh, uh, sent a message to me saying that it was good policy and that he would support it. Taxpayers will get up to $600 back from the government. Thousands of holiday travelers in central Florida were delayed for hours by a stubborn wildfire over the weekend. Smoke from an 800-acre fire reduced visibility along parts of the Florida Turnpike. That caused several accidents and prompted officials to briefly shut down the highway. No one was seriously hurt, though. More than 200 firefighters are still battling the flames. A group of Muslim extremists has claimed responsibility for kidnapping 20 people in the Philippines. Three of the victims are American. Two dozen gunmen wearing ski masks raided a posh resort 400 miles from Manila. It is believed the hostages were taken either to Malaysia or to islands that are home to the extremist group. The leader says the victims are being treated well. 5.15 now, and next weather and traffic on the 7s. Phil will join us, he promises, with a better holiday forecast. <laughs> Plus, a new tool to make your car more Earth-friendly. Also coming up at 5.30, research shows one kind of supplement really can help you lose weight. That story on the Health Beat. At Jewel, it's the fresh way we slice. Serve. Cook. The fresh way we dip. Cube. Host. It's the fresh way we make your meals and your life a little easier. With a fresh taste here and a fresh idea there. When it's from the chef's kitchen, it's fresh to your family from Jewel. I love horsepower! I like the power a lot. Oh yeah. I'm feeling 
didn't handle. This is my baby. This is my house. Sarah, how are you doing today? Would you mind holding me? That's a gas. Oh, yeah. My arsenal. John Deere. Toro. Black Decker. Scott. And Eddie. That's why I go to the Home Depot. First, the Home Depot. First in home improvement. This is you. This is a 2001 Pontiac Grand Am. This is the event. This is $1,500 cash back, plus $500 in Memorial Day bonus cash. Now, just imagine the thrills of driving a new Grand Am. It's fun. It's exciting. Or use your Memorial Day bonus and get a great smart buy on a 2001 Grand Am SE. Residency restrictions apply. Call for important smart buy details. This is where you get it, but only until May 31st. Now, there you go. When we built our house, we found a lot that was just perfect. Yeah, well, it was the worst sight I'd ever seen. We love the view, and the sunsets are incredible. The weather is brutal. It had everything. Earthquake, tidal wave, horizontal rain. We wanted lots of windows. I insisted on Anderson windows. At Anderson, we appreciate the builders who, time after time, make it look easy. We're still in love with this house. And I'm still recovering. Worryproof, timeproof, Anderson windows. Good morning, everyone. Well, finally, finally, that upper level low that has brought us the rain showers for about the past week now is moving off to the east. You can see all of the shower activity, especially uh, overnight last night, off to our east, and that continues to move away from us. And I think we will get to see a decent amount of sunshine today. Can't rule out an isolated shower, but for the most part, today will be dry. Right now, it's 53 degrees at O'Hare and Midway, 55 at the lakefront. High temperature today, 71, somewhat cooler with a pretty strong lake breeze for the day tomorrow. Roz? Very calm and quiet on the expressways. No problems to report right now. Really, we're not going to see much of a rush hour today. We're pretty much looking at base travel times right now. The inbound side of the Kennedy from O'Hare to downtown, 21 minutes, 22 back out. No delays in either direction on the Edens Expressway. Eisenhower is 17 minutes in, 16 out. Stevenson only 23 minutes from the Tri-State to Lakeshore Drive. And the Ryan is only 12 minutes from 95th through downtown. Another check of traffic in 10 minutes. Judy? All righty, Roz, thank you. In consumer news, a scientific breakthrough could cut car pollution. A device called the Onboard Distillation System has been developed by scientists at the University of Texas and Ford Motor Company. It may eventually reduce toxin emissions from vehicles by 80%. The system acts like a mini refinery under the hood. It weighs less than five pounds and consists of four parts installed in the engine. It should be available in just about a year. And job cuts at Isuzu top the morning financial news. ABC's Antonio Mora has the morning business report. Good morning. Here is this morning's Money Scope report. Isuzu says it will cut more than a quarter of its workforce in one of the biggest shakeups in Japanese automotive history. The truck maker plans to lay off 9,700 workers over the next three years. Isuzu also plans to close a plant near Tokyo. Chrysler is voluntarily recalling more than half a million late model neons. The automaker plans to replace brake booster vacuum hoses on 2000 and 2001 Neons. Chrysler says there have been no injuries related to the problem. The changing balance of power in the Senate is making economic waves. This morning, Jim Ellis, chief of correspondence at Businessweek, told ABC News there's a business angle to the power shift. Big business and corporate America had been counting on a second tax cut. They've been good soldiers. They supported the individual tax cuts. Now they are not probably going to be able to just uh, expect a second tax cut from a Democratic Senate. Senator Carl Levin wants to find out if mergers are to blame for skyrocketing gas prices. The Michigan Democrat is slated to take over the Senate Subcommittee on Investigations. Levin says he is going to look into the effect of oil industry mergers on gas prices to see if there is price fixing going on. Here's a look at this week's economic calendar. Tomorrow, the Commerce Department releases its report on personal income and spending for April. Then on Friday, the Labor Department issues its report on unemployment for May. Also on Friday, the Commerce Department posts figures on construction spending for April. Join us on Good Morning America for a look at Hollywood's fascination with World War II and whether or not audiences are getting the real story. That's on GMA after your local news. And that is this morning's Money Scope Report. I'm Antonio Mora. Thank you, Antonio. 521 now. The American and French markets are closed this morning. Overseas, the dollar is up against the Japanese yen, trading at 121 yen. The Nikkei is down 28 points, closing at 13,737. 
The movie Pearl Harbor is on its way to a big opening, but so far it is short of a record for this holiday weekend. The World War II epic has taken in close to $40 million so far. Analysts are predicting Pearl Harbor will top $75 million today. That would make it the second biggest Memorial Day debut ever behind the Lost World Jurassic Park. By the way, ABC7 is owned by Disney, which produced Pearl Harbor. We are live with the morning stop stories when we come back, including children rescued from a fire overnight. Several firefighters were hurt. Judy Garcia joins with us with the very latest. But first, the Sox go into extra innings. Okay. We'll see how the game finally ended. The morning sports round is next. Thank God. This morning's Money Scope report brought to you by Eclipse Polar Ice Gum. Even better, now in polar ice, so Eclipse kills the toughest taste for good. <laughs> it hit me when my wife got pregnant. Just knowing that, that my son was on the way inspired me to lose weight and get healthy. I tried all these different things and nothing was working. I thought I was doomed. Then I saw a Slim Fast commercial and I thought, okay, I'll give it a try. I lost over 50 pounds on the Slim Fast plan. I found a whole new reason for living. I'm real high energy now. I drink Slim Fast every day. The shakes really satisfy me. There's about a gazillion vitamins and minerals and healthy stuff. It's just great. It's a wonderful thing. Slim Fast every day. Get healthy. You really can do it. Neutrogena, visibly firm, firmer skin, younger looking skin. Can you get it back? Thanks to an anti-aging breakthrough, now you can. New Neutrogena, visibly firm with active copper. Copper, a natural collagen building mineral, is essential for firm skin but diminishes with age. Neutrogena, visibly firm, gently replenishes copper. In two weeks, skin is firmer. Lines and wrinkles, smoothed. Moisture and radiance, restored. The skin you want, it's back. New Neutrogena, visibly firm. Questions about Pepsid Complete? Well, the answer is right on the label. Pepsid Complete released less than half of heartburn episodes within 30 minutes. Less than half. So here's another question. Since nothing's faster than Tom's, since the Pepsid costs four times as much, and since Tom's Ultra has twice the antacid as the antacid part of Pepsid Complete, what's so complete about Pepsid Complete? I'm completely mystified. I'd stick with Tom's. Tom, 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 Tom. For you on this Memorial Day, good morning to you. 5.24 is the time, 53 degrees outside. Well, it took extra innings for the White Sox to put the Detroit Tigers away last night. Chris Singleton's sacrifice fly in the 11th inning gave the Sox a 3-2 victory in Detroit. The win was the White Sox's fourth in a row, including a three-game sweep of the Tigers. Our other baseball team is celebrating a win as well. ABC 7's Jeff Blanzi has the latest on the Cubs winning streak in the morning sports wrap. Well, good morning, everyone. Cubs lost the first four games of a long homestand, but won the last seven. Longest win streak for the Cubs since 98. Seventh win for Kevin Tappany yesterday, and there was a big crowd on hand, including the Bears. Brian Erlacher, the good linebacker they got, right? Hey, how good was Tappany yesterday? Good hands, got him there at first, and then he got help behind him. Ricky Gutierrez with a great defensive play to rob Tyler Houston. Cubs broke a 1-1 tie in the eighth when Joe Girardi rolled one down the line and left. Career hit number 1,000 for Joe. Matt Stairs scores, so does Gary Matthews Jr. Cubs end up with a come-from-behind 4-1 win over the Brewers. 85th running of the Indy 500, and the weather was threatening all race. Not sure they would get it all 500 miles. Point hitter Scott Sharp didn't, didn't even last a lap. Got caught a little low. The tires didn't hold. And the track, you know, boy, trouble for Sharp. After a great month of May for him, he was out. Sarah Fisher had hoped to make this her best Indy, but her day ended in this nasty spin out into the wall. She, she also took Scott Goodyear with her and finished 31st. But rookie Helio Castro Nevis avoided all the debris and cruised to a two second win over teammate Jill DeFerrin, 11th Indy win for owner Roger Penske, and Castro Nevis headed for Victory Fence, maybe a new Indy tradition. I'm amazed, I mean this crowd is unbelievable, you know, and they're so happy to win here. You gotta do this one, Helio. Look at this guy, I've been dreaming with this. <laughs> 
<laughs> Congratulations, good for him. Hey, that's your latest in sports. I'm Jeff Blanzy. All wow. right, Jeff. Interesting video from the <laughs> cockpit there of the cars. Scary. My goodness. If you're just joining us, here's a look at the morning's top stories for you. Fire tears through an apartment building trapping children. Police investigate the death of a man dragged by a car. Plus, it's 60, 65 dollars to fill up this car right now. Take about 28 gallons. <laughs> Plus, a new push to give drivers summer relief from high gas prices. But first, we begin with a weather update from Phil Schwartz. He's live in the Weather Center to tell us about Memorial Day. Good morning, Phil. Good morning, Judy. Good morning, Dick. Yeah, and finally, it's going to feel a little bit like uh, summer out there. Not quite summer, but at least a lot warmer than it has been. You can see we do have a few showers off to our east, but watch how the, the activity has been diminishing overnight, moving away from us. So apart from just an isolated shower today, we should be dry. Temperature-wise right now, 53 degrees at O'Hare. It's 53 at Midway, 55 at the lakefront. We will see some patchy fog, especially inland early this morning, but then we should get to see a decent amount of sunshine, a high of 71. Cold front comes through here tomorrow, so a high of only 68. And cooler than that, especially uh, along the lakefront on Tuesday. Next chance of showers comes along about Thursday into Friday with temperatures averaging slightly below normal. Roz? Traffic looks great this morning. If you're one of the unfortunates who do have to get up early and go to work, the consolation is you won't have to sit in any traffic delays this morning. We're looking at very decent conditions, very light volume. We do have a couple heavy pockets here and there. For one, there are a couple of slow spots on the outbound Kennedy heading toward the airport. Let's take a look at a couple travel times, starting with the Kennedy. It's 25 minutes heading out to O'Hare, but only 21 in from Cumberland to the Ohio feeder. And the Eisenhower is clear from Mannheim all the way to the Circle Interchange, 16 minutes in and 17 minutes back out to Wolf Road. And that's pretty much what we're seeing all the way around the system. No problems on the tollways. We'll check traffic again for you within 10 minutes. Judy, Dick? Ross, thank you. And now the morning's top story. Police rescued children from a burning apartment building. Several of the officers were injured. The fire was at 7626 South Kingston. ABC 7's Judy Garcia is there now. She joins us live. Good morning, Judy. Good morning, Judy and Dick. The board of crews are here now just beginning their work on this apartment building. It's a 24-unit building. And the fire broke out at about 3 o'clock this morning. It left two boys and their mother injured. Five Chicago police officers are also being treated for smoke inhalation. Again, the blaze, blaze broke out at about 3.15 this morning. Chicago police officers were the first on the scene of this 24-unit courtyard building. Now, they, the, among those people who had to be evacuated out of this building, two young boys and a mother who apparently jumped from their second-story apartment building. Police say the smoke and heat were intense. The blaze apparently coming from a second-floor kitchen area. However, even the third floor had to be evacuated, and some of those officers feared as they evacuated residents from the third floor, that that floor might give way to flames beneath coming from the second floor. We just got a call by a dispatch of a fire, possibly at an apartment. We pulled up and uh, let them know that there was a fire, let dispatch know, and uh, we went in on the second floor, tried to evacuate everybody from the building, and it uh, looks like everybody got out, hopefully. Yeah, right. There was two young kids. I guess they got they got out through the back. Smoke was real bad, so we couldn't get in real real far. But we helped them get out. They jumped out the window to the back, and uh, hopefully they're all right. The two boys and their mother are being treated at the University of Chicago Hospital. The five Chicago police officers are being treated at South Shore Hospital for smoke inhalation. Reporting live from the 7600 block of South Kingston, Judy Garcia, ABC 7 News. Come back to you, Dick. Judy, thank you. Firefighters also rescued several victims from a fire on, the Chicago, on Chicago's near west side overnight. The fire broke out on Warren Boulevard near Ashland. Flames broke out at the Viceroy Hotel. They trapped several residents on the upper floors of that building. Firefighters had to run into the building and guide people to safety. No one was seriously hurt. Investigators say the fire started in a garbage can, possibly from careless smoking. Police say a man was dragged to death overnight during a dispute over money. The victim's body was found near 116th and Halstead. Police say the 44-year-old victim, a cigarette vendor, jumped on top of a car and ended up being dragged several blocks. Police believe the victim was demanding money from the driver after a sale. Police are looking for the driver. There is a new call today for relief at the gas pumps. Anyone traveling this holiday weekend knows it is taking a lot more money to fill up these days. Last year, when prices skyrocketed, the state temporarily suspended the gas tax. 
Former state treasurer Pat Quinn is now calling on the state, county, and city to lift their taxes on gas this summer. Governor Ryan's office, however, says it probably will not happen. 65,000 Chicago area young professionals rely on a unique club to fill their free time, but the Chicago Sport and Social Club was almost a victim of the internet meltdown recently. The original owners sold the club to an internet company last year. The company went bust, though, and took the club down with it. Thousands of members who had paid their dues were left without a place to play. Now the club is back, but thanks to a group of members who stepped in. It's like a passage for people to live in Chicago. You graduate school, you move downtown, you join the sport and social club to hang out with your friends and continue the traditions you had in college. Herkes and his friends started it up again after buying the club out of bankruptcy. Chicago kicked off the Memorial Day celebration last night. <laughs> This fireworks show was supposed to be held on Saturday, but rain delayed it until last night. The show in the sky marked the first of many big fireworks displays scheduled throughout the summer on the lakefront. There are hundreds of Memorial Day events planned here in Chicago and nationwide. In Washington, President Bush will sign a bill paving the way for a World War II memorial on the National Mall. Here in Chicago, a memorial will be dedicated for former Mayor Harold Washington at the Oakwood Cemetery at 1045. And the well-known Wiggums Parade steps off at Pine Grove and Wellington at 11. Of course, that's the parade where everyone marches and no one watches. Although they've been getting an audience <laughs> lately. Federal, state, county, and city offices are closed from the Memorial Day holiday. So are all courts except Bond Court. The Chicago Public Library and Chicago Public Schools are closed as well. And it is a rare parking meter holiday. That means you do not have to feed the meters in the city. So grab a space now. <laughs> Always a nice little boat. That's right. So ahead this morning, some people who own handheld computers say they wouldn't live without them or they couldn't live without them. And today, personal digital computers, PDA as they're called, can do more than ever. A look at the newest models in Consumer Reports. But first, new gadgets mean fresh ways to grill old favorites. We're live with the folks from Weber when we come back. And so far, the weather this weekend has been less than ideal, but get ready. The nicest day is yet to come. I'll have your forecast after the break. Your home is a reflection of who you are. Since we installed Unilock pavers and retaining walls, our house has never looked better. I actually look forward to driving down our driveway. It's so solid and elegant. <laughs> Funny. It makes me feel good. And we're always getting compliments. I guess when you invest in your home, you're really investing in yourself. Unilock. Improve your life. For a free estimate from an authorized contractor or your free color brochure, call 1-800-929-8877. Join us as we celebrate our freedom with our famous low prices during Darwin's memorable Memorial Day sale. Monday is the final day. Unforgettable savings when you make no payments and no interest accrues till August 2002. This double pedestal table with four chairs is only $4.99, plus get two additional side chairs free. And this Lane Rocker recliner is only $1.99, plus register to win a $10,000 shopping spree. Don't miss the historic savings during Darwin Furniture's memorable Memorial Day sale. Monday is the final day. Tom Sutter is a student of tranquility. To the all-new GMC Envoy, he and his team use hydroform technology to absorb vibrations for a surprisingly comfortable ride. They also gave Envoy a 270 horsepower best-in-class engine. They want you to feel relaxed, not fall asleep. Introducing the all-new GMC Envoy. Save on Mastercraft pre-hung exterior doors only at Menard. Choose from hundreds of styles. A six or nine panel insulated prime steel door is on sale, $94. This door with insulated glass and built-in grills is $149. Outdoor decor enamel paint from Rust-Oleum dries to a rust-resistant satin finish. On sale, $4.99 a quart. Fresh on big savings at Menard. Save big money at Menard. <laughs> for you on this Monday Memorial Day morning. 53 degrees outside. Phil, we have decided that you are the main attraction this morning. <laughs> Everyone wants to know how Memorial Day well, is going to be. I'm flattered. And you know what? It's just, we're finally able to deliver. I can't tell you how many people have come up to us and said, you know, when is this rain yeah. Oh, yeah. going to end? And we can say, well, not in this foreseeable future, at least up until now. 
Now we can finally say it's over. For a couple so, of days. At least for a couple of days. <laughs> finally. Finally. Boy, it has been so wet around here. Today, maybe an isolated shower, but for the most part, today will be dry. This is your forecast for today. Patchy fog early, but definitely more sunshine than we've seen for probably the last week and warmer. Still can't rule an isolated shower out as the atmosphere is still slightly unstable, but for the most part, today will be dry. Let's fly underneath the clouds because here's that upper level low that's been with us the past several days. Still causing some showers in eastern Michigan, but it is dry around here. And I think uh, for the most part, that's how it will stay during the day today into tomorrow. Next chance of rain, probably not until Thursday. Right now, 53 O'Hare, 53 Midway, 55 downtown. Gurney, 50 degrees. You're going up to Great America. Pretty nice day for it as high should get back to around 70 degrees. We do have a northwest wind at 5, and we could see a gentle lake breeze develop later this afternoon, but a much stronger lake breeze will develop during the day tomorrow. 71 should be our high today. That's only 3 degrees below normal. Low temperature so far this morning, 52 degrees. The really heavy weather is down here in East Texas and spreading into Louisiana. These storms spawned uh, several tornadoes in Kansas yesterday evening. Now they've made it almost all the way down to the Gulf Coast states. But all of that is heading away from us, and overall, our weather should be fairly quiet the next couple of days. Upper level low weakens as it moves off to the northeast, but you can see a cold front dipping southward out of Canada. That will generate a northeast wind during the day tomorrow. Cool most places off by just 2 or 3 degrees, but along the lakefront, it will be significantly cooler. Then as we head into Wednesday, that high will drift to the southeast and it will start to warm up again. This moisture will stay off to our west until about Thursday. High temperatures around the lakes today in the lower 70s. You can see the real heat staying in the deep south, 90 degrees today in New Orleans. Tonight we cool back into the mid to upper 40s. Forecast for this morning, some patchy fog, then partial clearing. Temperatures uh, upper 40s to lower 50s. This afternoon's high, upper 60s lakefront, lower 70s inland. Maybe an isolated shower, but all in all, it should be a dry day. Tonight, still a bit on the cool side with a low temperature getting back down to about 46 degrees. Tomorrow, some sunshine, but a nice lake breeze developing with a high of only 68. Maybe some rain on Thursday. We have a weather sketcher for you. This is Joey Nitchin. He is from Cicero, and you can see he's thinking of snow-capped mountains. That's Mount Nitchin in the background there, and you can see Sioux Peak and uh, Johnson Mountain, and it's all part of the Varen Range that you see there. So Very good. See, he makes up these stories. No, those are what those mountains are right, right there. They're, really? they're over in uh, around no. the New Buffalo no. area, right? Uh, just north of yeah, there. Yeah, just north yeah, of there. Same general area. Right. Same Thank Joe, you, so. sort of. <laughs> Hey, uh, let's go to Roz and see what uh, what traffic is not doing today. That's right. <laughs> Roz? I'm going to have to make something up because there's nothing out there. It's very quiet. But I think we like it that way. For those of us who do have to be out and about, it's going to be an easy commute. Let's take a look at the travel times. They're real low right now. No rush hour to speak of. The Kennedy is 23 minutes in and 24 out between O'Hare and downtown. And look at that picture behind you from the Sears camera. There, maybe you can count a few cars out there. Yeah, it's really quiet. Eden's 21 in, 20 out between Deerfield and Montrose. Eisenhower, base travel time there, 16 minutes in, 16 out between Mannheim and the Circle. Stevenson, 21 minutes in, 18 back out between Lakeshore Drive and the Tri-State. And the Dan Ryan is an easy 11 minutes. I don't think I've ever seen it 11 minutes from 95th through downtown. 13 minutes heading back out to 95th Street. Now, we may see some traffic this afternoon, early part of the evening with everybody returning home. Mm -hmm. I really don't think we're going to see the big crunch at the airports until Tuesday morning because people really, really like to stretch that mm -hmm. long holiday weekend mm -hmm. as long as they can. It is the official, unofficial beginning of summer, summer after all. Sure yeah. Thank you, Roz. Thanks, mm -hmm. Roz. Well, you know, a lot of those people who are staying home from work will be firing up those grills today. Yes, and we have some tips that can make your cookout the hottest in the neighborhood. Betty Hughes is a grilling expert with Weber Grills. She joins us now live along the lakefront. Betty, good morning. Look how nice it is out there this morning. Good morning, and aren't we lucky it's such a gorgeous day. You sure are. Now, mm -hmm. you've got all sorts of interesting devices to show us to improve our burger and hot dog fare, huh? Right. Actually, what I did is bring a few of the really essential uh, things first doing your grilling this weekend. One is a chimney starter. If you're a, one of those avid charcoal grillers, this chimney starter is absolutely wonderful. You fill it with charcoal and then you take a couple of starter cubes and put them underneath, ignite the starter cubes, put the full chimney over the uh, lighter cubes in 25 minutes or less, you'll have your coals 
ready to go with a light coating of gray ash all over them. Now this is a little uh, starter which works very well either for your gas grill or if you're igniting those little cubes underneath. Or birthday candles. Oh, sure, that'd be great, too. <laughs> Might be overdoing it, but okay. Um, what else myths, you got, Betty? I have some myths which are very important in grilling. You should have something to give you good protection up over oh, yeah. your wrist. And you know, rubs and uh, barbecue sauces are all the vogue today. And we have a set of different barbecue rubs, which are absolutely wonderful. We're using one of them on our ribs today. And these are dry spices, aren't they, Betty? Yes, they yeah. are. They're a combination of dry spices. Then, of course, you need a good barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. And uh, you need a good book to tell you how to do things. And this is our brand new grilling book. It's Weber's Big Book of Grilling. Fabulous recipes in there. Uh, so a good set of tools are really essential. I like tongs, a spatula, and uh, a basting brush. And then, of course, you need something to clean that grill off with. Mm -hmm. And this is a good brass bristle you could, brush. You could hurt people with those, mm -hmm. Betty. Well, you could, yes, of course, but you don't want to no, do that. No. And you have also some racks, some new racks or something? We there? do. This is uh, one that we're going to be showing later with some bruschetta on it. It is for your charcoal grill, and when you have some things that you'd like to do in addition to your meat, you can place them on here. This is my favorite accessory. It's a rib rack. You can put twice as much food in those spaces. You can use it for ribs or chicken pieces. And these are double prong skewers, which are fabulous when you're doing kebabs. Mm -hmm. You put your foods on there, and then when you turn them off, because <laughs> turn them off, turn them over, because they're double prong, the food won't slip and slide like oh, it yeah. usually does. So these are really wonderful. That's a great idea. Yeah. And Betty, later on this morning, you're actually going to be using some of those tools and cooking for us, right? We're going to be using all of these tools and cooking for you. Good. And we hope to sample some of what you cook, Betty. <laughs> oh, we're going to be sure you do. All right, good. You make sure of that because the crew sometimes eats oh, it yeah. before we get it. We you want know? some of that. <laughs> Thanks, Betty. If you need advice from experts like Betty, call the Weber Grill Tip Line. That number is 312-988-2326. And from grilling to another holiday tradition, Memorial Day kicks off the boating season, of course. Coming up, we'll find out what causes the most boating accidents. First, our top stories, including an attempt to save you money at the pump. But first, a look at last night's winning lottery numbers. We'll be right back. Your body is made of tiny cells, dividing and multiplying, renewing and rebuilding. But sometimes something gets out of control and the wrong cells grow too much, too fast. It's called cancer. There are many kinds, most fatal if they have their way. Learn the warning signs. See your doctor. Today, the growth can often be stopped, even erased, and your body can get back to living. Oh, what's your favorite Entenmann? I bet it's the ultimate crumb cake. Makusula. She loves the cinnamon crumbs. Tata lava. It is moist. And you're icing the bubble. so much. Oh. Entenmann, what's your favorite? Excuse me. <laughs> I know. Just back straight up. Thomas's bagel? Fresh bagels from Thomas's. Golden outside, perfect texture inside. Thomas's makes great bagels. Thomas's. Visit Indiana Beach Amusement and Camp Resort. Ride four great coasters, the Galaxy, the Tiger, the Hoosier Hurricane, and the new Cornball Express. Yeehaw! Visit Indiana Beach this Wednesday and every Wednesday. Buy one ride pass package and get the second of the same free with a register receipt from CVS. Get complete details at the Coca-Cola display at all participating CVS pharmacies. General admission still only $2. Indiana Beach on beautiful Lake State from Monticello, Indiana. Proving once again there is more than corn in Indiana. Now at AT and Wireless, choose what's right for you. Sign up for a qualifying plan and choose any two special offers: 1,000 night and weekend minutes, or 200 anytime minutes, or nationwide long distance, all from your home calling area at no additional charge for a year. Plus, get up to $100 cash back with mail and phone and service rebates. 
It's your choice. Visit any AT&T store or authorized dealer or visit attwireless.com. Finally, a gorgeous morning for your Memorial Day at 546, 53 degrees. That is the sun, yes, in case you forgot what it looked like over the lake. Beautiful day. And the day's top stories now. Police say a man was dragged to death overnight during a dispute over money. The victim's body was found near 116th and Halstead Streets. They're now looking for the driver of the car. Several people, including two young boys, were hurt overnight after a fire broke out in their apartment building at 76th and Kingston. Several police officers helped get the residents out of the building and were injured. Firefighters also rescued several residents of a transient hotel on the city's near west side. There were no serious injuries there. Investigators suspect it was started by careless smoking. Time right now, 546. We're going to check weather right now with Phil. Phil, we saw the sun. <laughs> we did. Yes. You, you know what? We saw the sun, and it was just so brief that we have to see it again. Let's go to this shot because I want to see the sun again. There it is. Look at that. Hardly a cloud anywhere in the sky. It almost looks like a postcard, doesn't it? And uh, even though we're seeing a lot of sun now, we will see some clouds develop during the day. Maybe a brief shower, but nothing compared to the last couple of days. You can see all of the showers diminishing, moving off to the east. So for the most part, for the most part, today will be dry. Temperature-wise right now, we're sitting at 53 at both O'Hare and Midway. 55 downtown St. Charles coming in with 48 high today, near 70. Roz? Not much happening on the expressways, and that's pretty much what we would expect to see on a holiday. We have very low travel times, no serious crashes, just made a fresh round of phone calls, state police, also out in the suburbs. Travel times really low. The Kennedy right now, 21 in and 22 out between O'Hare and downtown. No delays in either direction on the Edens. Eisenhower is 16 minutes in and 17 out between Mannheim and the Circle Interchange. Stevenson, a mere 21 minutes from the Tri-State to the Drive, and the Ryan has actually gotten better. It's down to 11 minutes now from 95th through downtown. Judy, Dick? <laughs> I've never heard of it 11 minutes. I know, 11 minutes. Wow. Looking good. Thanks, Roz. Time right now for you, 548. When we come back around the health beat, a new report shows one dietary supplement might help you lose weight. And PDAs, their personal digital assistants, then they've gone far beyond addresses and phone numbers. So look at the newest features in Consumer Reports. Hey, you. Yeah, I miss you, too. Verizon Wireless. Our network covers more towns, more cities, and more places hey, Mom. No, I'll be home soon. than anybody else's in the country. So you know that just about anywhere your business takes you, you'll stay connected to your biggest fans. Verizon Wireless. Join in. Now, get 2,000 weekend minutes a month with annual contract. Free. For life. Get those pools open with great deals from FIM. Save on pool chemicals. H2O special lease chlorine. Buy 10 pounds, get 5 pounds free. A savings of 33%. Liquid pool shot chlorine, just 135 a gallon. Deluxe starter chemical kit. Include 4 pounds of chlorine, $35. Save $5. 25 pound large tap chlorine, $45. Just $180 a pound. Automatic pool cleaner, just $99.99. Or Hayward Aquabug, $119.99. Solar covers, replacement liners, pool ladders, resin stairways, and pool accessories. Easy set 12 foot inflatable pool, $99.99. Incredible selection, great value at FIM store. In Chicago at Ford City, also down Grove, Grove, Bloomingdale, and Arlington Heights. It's Chicago Smile Savings at Sears Dental. To celebrate the opening of our State Street office, we're offering great values at all of our Chicago area Sears Dental offices. So smile and get a cosmetic whitening for just $199. Crowns start at just $499. You can even get braces for as low as $119 per month. So join the State Street opening celebration with Chicago Smile Savings. Call Sears Dental at 1-800-47-SMILE for an appointment today. I get excited just walking in the door. Everything at Sam's Club is so big, they have everything. A whole living room with a TV. Your dream. Wow, it's a good price. Oh, I'm loving this. Gorgeous. Sam's Club is so much fun. You feel like a kid in here. Big fun. It's a big deal for everyone. They have great deals. We come in for one thing and we leave with a whole basket full. We love to shop at Sam's Club. With summer fast approaching, a lot of people are trying to shed some pounds. On the health beat, a new dietary supplement that may help in the battle with the bulge. Government studies find that more than 60% of Americans are overweight. Obesity contributes to an estimated 300,000 deaths each year. Research published in the Journal of Exercise Physiology finds that the supplement 
Xenadrine, combined with exercise, can result in significant weight loss. It works by increasing metabolism. Xenadrine does not appear to have significant effect on energy, diet, or blood chemistry. The boating season unofficially begins today. This morning, there is new evidence that boating and booze can be, of course, a deadly combination. Figures from the Center for Disease Control show that 60% of drownings are linked to drug or alcohol use. Anyone on a boat should wear a life preserver, especially if they are drinking. The effects of alcohol are magnified on the water. Vibration, heat, and the sun can combine to get you drunk quicker. The numbers show drinking is as dangerous in a boat as it is in a car. Personal digital assistants can do a lot more than keep track of phone numbers and schedules. New models can now store photos, games, and even more. Consumer Reports today tested the most popular PDA. It seems like you see personal digital assistants everywhere these days. I just press the telephone button and I have a complete list of everybody. I use it every day for scheduling, uh, keeping track of my business appointments, personal appointments. I got tired of uh, getting a new address book every year. Consumer Reports' Chris Busco just tested 15 of the so-called PDAs, priced from $100 to well over $500. Ones from Palm, Handspring, and Sony have the Palm operating system. Now, with those, you can't use regular writing. They're all single-stroke characters. So, for instance, a T is a single right-angle line. Ones from Casio, HP, Compaq, and others use a form of Microsoft Windows and are called pocket PCs. They're more like tiny computers, and they can recognize regular writing. You just write in your normal handwriting, and it will recognize the characters and convert them to text. Consumer Reports build this device to see how long the batteries last. It taps each screen to keep it active. The tests found color screens only run four to eight hours. Black and white displays can go for well over 24 hours. In the end, Consumer Reports says among pocket PCs, one of the easiest to use is the one from Casio. It's the Cassiopeia EM500. It sells for $480. A palm-based organizer will cost you less. Consumer Reports found a black and white one with a crisp display. It's the Sony Clie PEG S300. It costs about $350. And among pocket PCs, Consumer Reports found some uh, from Compaq that are good, although the batteries apparently do not last as long as the Casios. The Compaq iPack H3630 and H3650 each cost about $500. You can log on always to our website, abc7chicago.com, for a copy of this Consumer Report. Although Dick and I are still using our old-fashioned yeah. calendars. We wonder what handwriting will be like 20 years from now when nobody writes anymore. I know. Huh? Barbecued ribs, kebabs, bruschetta, it sounds good even at this time of the morning. We're live with grilling experts as we spring into summer this Memorial Day. But first, moms and dads have been busy at one zoo. We'll show you the results of a baby boom.